Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'd like to talk about the topic of faith. And the reason why I'd like to talk about it is because it was something that I recently had a situation where I lacked faith. It caused me to doubt myself. And I apologize for not making a video consistently, but I've been in a lot of transition recently. And like I said, I went through an experience where I was supposed to step out on faith because God has showed me a vision, but because the numbers weren't correct and it didn't add up to me, um, yeah, basically what I could see didn't make sense of what he wanted me to do. I didn't step out on faith and that caused a lot of insecurity in me afterwards. But that's why I want to talk about it because how do we then increase our faith? Because I need this. So I started to look up a lot of um, people's preachings on increasing faith, strengthen faith, how to strengthen your faith. And let's let's cover a few scriptures here. Hebrews 11:6. But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. 2 Corinthians 5:7. For we walk by faith, not by sight. That was my mistake. What I could see didn't make sense of what he wanted me to do. But if I was strong in my faith, I would have just stepped out and done it, have done it anyway. Okay, Mark 11, 22 to 24. And Jesus answering saith unto them, Have faith in God. Hebrews 11, 1. Now faith is the substance of of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So why am I covering this when I recently experienced a lack of faith and it did bring some insecurity in a lot of areas after I experienced this? It's because I know that other believers have gone through this too. And I want to see how or be a part of the journey of walking to increase our faith. Okay, because because I couldn't see something, I didn't step out in faith. Whereas as believers and as the scripture says, we can't see the thing that God wants for us. It's not supposed to be physical to the eye because everything is spiritual before it's physical. Okay, so increasing our faith. Let's increase our faith. That's the goal. And that's why I wanted to give you scripture on it, to give you the expectation of God. And that and that just because we don't we may mess up, I'm human, I make mistakes every single day. But we try to minimize them, right? But because I made a mistake and didn't step out on faith, it doesn't mean that we lose all hope in God and all hope in ourselves because there's always room for improvement and we can always get better and we can always increase the thing that we lack. And in this situation, for me, it was faith. So how do we increase faith? I, I watched a lot of people's sermons on how to strengthen our faith. I looked up scriptures on faith. Okay, so that hopefully next time when God tells me to do something, and even though to my physical eye, I can't see how it's possible that I just step into it. That's my hope for the next time because the result of not stepping into it was a lot of insecurity and doubt and things. But again, those emotions are not good. So you know they don't come from God and they're from the devil. So you have to fight against those too. And that if you do mess up like how I did and you don't step out in faith, that you can recover from that. Okay, that you can, you can learn, you can try to increase your faith and the next time God tells you to do something in faith, that you do it. Because even though the numbers don't seem right, or it just doesn't seem like a situation that's possible, if God's telling you to do it, do it. Because remember the scripture, Hebrews 11.1, 1, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, for, the evidence of things not seen. So that even though we don't see how God, how it, it's possible, that if we have absolute faith in God, that he can make it possible. Okay, so don't lose faith. Stay strong in God. 
continue believing, continue putting your faith in God. And if you did mess up like I have, don't be don't be doubtful. Don't don't have insecurities about God. Insecurity comes from the devil. Okay, continue being confident in God. Continue loving him and he'll always have your back. He'll always be there for you. He'll he's the way maker. He's a merciful God. He's a loving God. Okay, hopefully this helps someone. I know I needed to increase my faith and learn more about this. God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, love you. The bunnies and I love you too. See you in the next video.